Hi guys, welcome to the video. In this one, I'm going to be doing some modifications to my Volkswagen Vento. So I've got a few things planned here. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is change the steering wheel out for a different one. I've got a, a nice uh, gold uh, Jimmy Up wheel that I'm going to use. Uh, the other things I want to, that I've got planned to do are the front grille. I'm not really a fan of the badgeless front grille, so I'm thinking I'm just going to take a hole saw and just drill a hole into it and put a badge in there. Uh, I also want to paint a little bit of the front grille, the, the bottom strip. Uh, I'd like to colour code to the body and I've got a little bit of green paint left so it probably won't quite match but whatever, still green. And then the other things that I want to do are I have the engine cover which I also want to paint green. I want to fit uh, an air filter, doubt it'll make much difference but you know, might make a bit more intake noise. So yeah, that's the plan. I'm going to get into it. So yeah, steering wheels then. That's the, uh, uh, well, I'm assuming the original steering wheel, but the factory style steering wheel. This is the steering wheel I want to fit. I think that'll look better and it'll also come out from the steering column a little bit more so I can reach it a bit better. So I found a horn button and I don't know, we'll find out, won't we? Oh you're in the On the I'm on the camera, yeah, yeah, don't worry. So I found a horn button. Um I don't know, maybe it'll work, maybe it won't. Throw this steering column cover back together and then get on with the rest of it. So now I've got the grill off, I'm going to give it a little clean, I think, and then, well, actually no, I might just drill it first. Yeah, I think I might just drill it first and then clean it afterwards because it's going to have a load of plastic all over it. So yeah, mark up the centre and drill it. So the goal is this, in here, I have a hole saw and mark the spot. Let's just go for it. Oh. Uh. the way to do that. There we go. It's gone in there. I'm aware that that was a terrible way to do it. It's just that to get one of these that actually is a proper, uh, I think this is a phase two grill with the thingy, the hole, it's quite expensive and this is just a 20 pound reproduction grill without the hole for it. So, well, might as well give it a go. Now this has had some chance to actually cure in there and the glue seems to have set. You can pick it up by this and you can pull and doesn't seem to want to fall out. So that's good news. 
So I'm going to paint this. Uh, I'm going to leave this uh, top bit black. Then I'm just going to paint the engine cover the same uh, colour. So what I like to do when I paint something is because the lighting isn't too great in this garage is uh, go around with a light to inspect everywhere and make sure I haven't missed anywhere and I haven't so I'm going to let this dry for a little bit and then come back through with the colour. From on there it's had some time to dry and I'm just going to shoot this all with some green. So give that 10 minutes to flash, another coat of green, and I think that's all that can's got left in it. And then, uh, yeah, lacquer. Lacquer time. Time for the second coat. Right, so now it is time for me to place this air filter with help if you have the air filter in your hand card. So now it is time for me to replace this air filter with this one. This one's, I don't know, a bit more circular. I think that's better. <coughs> so, uh, yeah, air box needs to come out and then. Get a clamp on that, put that in, and then, yeah, air filter. I'm not doing this for any performance reasons, I'm just doing this because I, well, I have that line around them. Yeah. I'm just doing it. Why not? What else was I going to do? There we go, this is one floppy air filter, just what you want.
that's it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. I've done some modifications that I've been looking to do for a little while. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please like, comment and subscribe. If you'd have done anything differently, please leave a comment down below, say what you would have done. And I will see you in the next one.